Who is Ireland's energy for? Is it for the Irish people or is it for data centres of big corporations? James Conway of Sligo Leitrim gives his take. Uh, my name is James Conway, independent candidate from Balnacarra. The first thing I'm going to appeal for is leniency on the time because I have been compiling a report for two and a half years on this and I have gotten down to the causation of it. Marion is completely correct in what she said that Leitrim is viewed as a sacrificial area. So is Sligo, South Donegal and West Cavan. And the reasoning for it is quite simple. We have taken in corporate companies, Facebook, Intel, companies like this, and they are going to be building data centres in Ireland. These data centres are the biggest users of electricity that have ever been done. There's one being built at the moment by Amazon, and when it is completed, it will use 5% of the current electricity in Ireland. This has to be differentiated with carbon areas. Why Leitrim? Why Sligo? West Cavan? Donegal? It's quite simple. It's where the cheapest land and the land that has the least economic viability in the country is, in their eyes. I love the West of Ireland, but if you're a bureaucrat, you don't. You look at the bottom line, the margin. Now, they have identified this as an area for planting for the simple reason that they will not be allowed to build these data centres without planting so many trees because of the carbon tax that is coming in. You all need to wake up. It's all right, we've identified the problem. Leitrim is being planted, what's behind it? You drilled into private figures, people who have private ownership. In my two and a half years, if you look a little bit closer into that, you will see that they're former civil servants for the Department of Agriculture and Forestry. The ones you're on about, the ones who are outside of this country, if you look a little bit closer into that, the solicitor's offices, they act as solicitors for technology companies. They are using this as an investment. They can borrow money at between 1% and 2%. If you're a farmer like myself, it's between 5 and 6%. There's a reason for that. It's lack of competition. Farmers are competing with the land because you can't get the money. This was all developed, and absolutely no disregard to any of the candidates, it's just the parties. This all developed about 13 years ago, just before it. It was brought in by Fianna Fáil, the Green Party, and Labour. Just a little bit of lenience. And it was held up by Fine Gael. You need to wake up. It's not just the government, this is well known throughout Europe that the corporations in this country are going to plant the northwest of Ireland to use it as a carbon sink to offset data centres. Why, why put the data centre in Ireland? It's because of our climate. We have a temperate climate. The biggest cost with a data centre is cooling. You can't put a data centre in a hot country or you will use a significant amount more electricity to cool it. That's why Ireland. Also, we're not near a fault line for earthquakes and we have been neutral in nearly every war in the 20th and 21st century. We are where the whole world, the corporations of the world, are putting their baby. They're putting the baby of the world in Ireland and they will sell out Leitrim, Sligo, Donegal and Cavan to do it. And if you think they won't, look at the fishing industry, look at the sugar beet industry, They'll sell out anything as long as there's a profit for the government at the end of it. Now, you're all wonderful people. You all have realised the problem. What I have gone is identified the problem, drilled into the facts and figures of it. And I would plead that you vote for me because I'm the only one who can walk into an office with Facebook or Intel or any of them, put my folder across the table and say, I know what you're at. Thank you very much.